ओके स्ट्रट्स प्लग इन प्लग इन कॉन्सेप्ट ओके यूजिंग दिस प्लग इन वाट वी कैन प्रोवाइड फॉर स्ट्रट्स using this plugin what we can provide sub uh, yeah here using plugins what we can provide for starts we can provide integration support integration support <coughs> with other framework with other frameworks with other frameworks to integrate with other frameworks we have to use this plugins up to now is there any plugin have you used In our validation API, have you used any plugin class? Validator plugin class we used, right? Plugins actually given to integrate with other framework. Then why they given that plugin? Is validation is other framework? Struts is different, and your validations are different. Validations are Apache Commons validation we used. Apache Commons validations. Those are not Struts validations, right? it's a special framework apache commons validation framework so that apache commons validation framework we integrated with struts in declarative except i mean in declarative validations we created validation xml files by reading that xml files we applied validations right so that validations are part of commons validators from apache commons validators we integrated with struts using a plugin which plugin we used here to integrate starts with apache commons validator we implemented a plugin using validator plugin validator plugin class we used to integrate with validator framework so here to integrate with any other framework plugins we required plugins we required here so how we can implement that plugins and how plugins will execute plugins we can implement by using a interface by using a interface interface name is interface name is plugin interface the interface name is plugin interface the interface name is plugin interface using this plugin interface i can implement my required plugin to integrate with other framework to integrate with other framework by implementing this interface we can implement required plugins so in this interface how many methods we have there is one method init method public void there is one method init with two arguments action servlet is one argument action servlet is one argument and one argument is module config what are these two what is action servlet and what is module config action servlet is your front controller that front controller object it will make available to this init method means your servlet object it will pass into this plugin your servlet object itself it will pass into this init method and one more object is module config module config object is what after reading your xml file xml file data it will store into module config object only right so module config object will contains your xml information and this is action servlet your servlet object your front controller object itself it will pass to this init method we have this init method and we have one more method in this plugin interface the method name is public void destroy public void destroy so these two methods we need to implement when you go through this interface plugin interface you must need to implement these two methods one is init method and one is destroy method so when actually this plugin class will execute as per our architecture when this plugin will execute usually action servlet will execute first action servlet instance your container will create first tomcat container create action servlet object first after creation of action servlet object action servlet init method job is what action servlet init method will read your xml file data it will read your struts xml file data and that data it will store into one object the object name is module config into module config object it will store your xml information after storing data into module config object if it find any plugins here in your xml file if it find any plugin configurations here if it find any plugin configurations in your xml file immediately this init method will instantiate that plugin class it will instantiate your plugin class plugin classes it will execute along with your action servlet init method so after instantiating your plugin class what it will do it will execute life cycle init method it will execute init method of your plugin here it will execute your init method of plugin 
by passing action select object and module config object this class object itself it will pass here along with your module config object into this init method so in this init method if i write any code here if i write any code here if i write any initializations here when that initializations will execute along with my actions are like initializations along with my actions are like initializations plugin class initializations also will executes means here if you write any code that code that code is similar like your init method code if you write any code here that code will execute like your actions are like init method so whatever the code we have in plugin class init method it is similar like your servlet init method okay when this init method will execute along with your actions are like init method this init method will execute and here you can write a destroy method you should write a destroy method when this destroy method will execute when your actions are related to destroy method executes when your actions are related to destroy method executes this destroy method will call plugin class destroy method it will execute your plugin class destroy method so by using this plugin class which job we should do here we need to provide integration support to other frameworks using this plugin class you need to provide integration support to other frameworks so where exactly other frameworks were required for starts by using starts if it is a mvc2 based application if it is a mvc2 based application by using struts framework i can provide support only for presentation and i can able to provide support only for controller up to presentation and controller only i can provide support let's say if my business part if it is there under spring or ejbs if your model part if your model part if you design by using ejbs or else if you design by using springs if your model part if it is there in spring or if it is there in ejb to talk your controllers to this ejb classes or to talk controllers to spring classes we need to integrate to this struts framework let's say if you design up to here by using struts to integrate your struts framework with ejbs or to integrate your struts framework with spring we required a mediator plugin using this plugin we need to instantiate ejbs or else we need to instantiate springs where we need to instantiate from this plugin class init method using a plugin here in between in between struts and in between spring by using a plugin you can integrate them let's say if it is ejb using a plugin you can integrate with ejb let's say if you have spring here using plugin you can integrate with spring also here you can integrate with spring also here okay we know if it is a spring spring container we have to start if it is a ejb ejb is actually we should deploy under web logic or web spare containers there we have to deploy into a jndi by using jndi namespace we have to deploy them that jndi namespaces we have to look up in plugins if it is a ejb look up look up operations we have to do from here if it is a ejb if it is a spring ioc we need to start from here ioc have to start in case of spring in case of ejb we have to do look up operations here ejb look up operations we have to do here okay by using plugins what we have to do if it is a ejb we have to do look up operations let's say if your model part if it is there in ejbs if your model if you design by using ejbs actually ejb objects we have to deploy into directory services or naming services jnda services we have jnda services in weblogic right in that jnda we have to bind our ejb objects we have to bind our ejb session bin object that session bin object if you want to look up from your controller controller classes are what in starts controller classes are what your action classes are controller classes so whenever i submit a input request whenever i submit a input request whenever i submit a input request that input request right away it will go to action servlet action servlet will create a particular bean class object it will create a bean object then after it will send request to request to processor request to processor will execute validation scared it will print error messages on same page if there is no error message finally it will call action class if this action class if it talk with if it want to talk with ejbs directly it can't able to talk right directly we can't able to instantiate ejb here so that what we should do we need to look up jnda look up operations we have to do here but instead of doing look up operations for every user request only one time if you want to look up complete ejb object instead of look uping from your controller what you should do you need to write a plugin here you need to write a ejb struts plugin ejb struts plugin you need to write here in this plugin class you need to look up your jnda object here you need to look up your jnda object who will execute this plugin 
your actions are let will execute plugin so whatever the lookup object we have here lookup objects j and a objects whatever the object we have here that objects we have consume we have to consume in our action class then we have to communicate with ejbs if it is a spring if it is a spring in case of spring to process your input form if you required spring the request always if you used to go to action servlet action servlet will redirect it to request to processor it will create bean object it will do validations it will send error messages final it will request action class so this action class if it want to talk with spring model layer if you have spring model part here if your model if you designed by using spring if you have spring model part here this of spring model we need to start if it is a spring how to start spring using a ioc we need to start it so here you need to write a plugin spring starts a plugin you should write spring starts a plugin you have to write in the spring starts plugin you have to start your ioc ioc we have to start using that ioc reference here in your action class you need to talk with spring you need to talk with spring okay the same thing we did in our validations in validations what we did by reading xml files we applied validations from request to processor in the same way by reading by reading spring from plugin we are we are doing communication with action classes okay so who is responsible to execute plugins always action servlet is the responsible class to execute your plugin classes okay plugin class will come up with two methods one is init and one is destroy so these two methods must we need to implement under our plugin implementation class okay yeah just i'll go through one spring and starts application okay using a custom plugin i'll go through one spring and starts application so the same kind of flow it will execute the same flow spring and starts spring starts starts plus spring model layer starts up to controller part starts then model layer is spring so here using spring if you want to integrate starts with spring if you want to integrate simple employee registration form employee registration form using starts and spring create one registration dot jsp page simple registration dot jsp and write one validation class registration form extend it from action form and create properties file for error messages messages dot properties and one action class registration controller extend it from action class and write one dao class dao class employee dao employee bean class hibernate bean i'll use hibernate here employee hibernate bean and write employee dao class implement this dao by using spring warm okay spring warm employee dao class for hibernate bean hibernate bean employee dao using spring warm finally we required one spring xml file spring xml file okay here for this hibernate bean just i'll go through annotations if i go through annotations in hibernate mapping files not required right so just i'll go through annotations here and without having hibernate configuration file hibernate configuration details also we can configure through spring xml file so one spring xml file is enough to configure hibernate configurations also so from here i'll do hibernate configurations plus spring beans configurations here you can do spring plus hibernate com configurations here spring plus hibernate configurations you can do and to integrate with the struts you require to write a struts spring plugin class write a struts spring plugin class struts spring plugin we need to implement this one by using a plugin interface then finally we required one struts xml file we required one struts xml file struts hyphen config dot xml file and finally one web dot xml file these many components we required okay